Sports presents the High School Game of the Week. Today, the Myers Mohawks take on the Grenadiers of GAR. A cold and blustery afternoon at Wilkes-Barre Memorial Stadium where GAR and Myers will close out the Wyoming Valley Conference regular season. The Mohawks still clinging to District 2 playoff hopes. Hi again, everybody. John Nugent along with J.P. Mack welcoming you to the high school football game of the week. During the course of this season, at times, you've needed a Ph.D. to figure out all these playoff possibilities. But this afternoon, J.P., it's pretty cut and dry for Myers. Well, Myers has to win today. They need some help from Dallas and beating Lake Lehman to get in these playoffs. And the way Myers has been going lately, it's going to be real tough. Quentin Harris is out, dislocated shoulder. This one, they're tight in his hurt. And they need a lot of work from the other guys to get this one today. JR, on the other hand, started the season off at 0-3, but right now they are coming on. They've won five out of their last six, and big Harold Jackson, a big reason why. Harold Jackson's the man. He's really doing the job. He's carrying the load. Manuel de Graffert is now healthy. Janoski, the quarterback, is a good one. The three Grenadiers will really do a job for JR today. And a year ago, JR won this ball game, 49-15. Myers, the favorite, coming in here this afternoon. It's the high school football game of the week. The opening kickoff is next. And welcome back to the newly renovated Wilkes-Barre Memorial Stadium in South Wilkes-Barre. John Nugent along with J.P. Mack and Andy Palumbo on what is a frigid afternoon here in November. Our conditions for this afternoon's ball game is the captains come out to midfield. Partly sunny, temperature at 39 degrees. The wind's out of the west at 14 miles per hour. A toupee warning is in effect. Humidity is at 62%. Our officials here this afternoon, our referee, Mr. Jack Thomas, the umpire is Earl Harris, headlinesman, Jim Catuso, line judge, Sean Moran, the back judge is Kirby Shemp. The third member of our team, Mr. Andy Plumbo, working the sidelines this afternoon. Andy? John, you just mentioned one of the officials, Jack Thomas, a very special game for him. He is retiring, last regular season game today after doing this for 33 years. I asked him why he is retiring now, and he looked at me and said, hey, I've been doing this 33 years. Lives in Scranton, he is 61 years old, does not look it, looks a lot younger than that. Football must keep you young. There's a message in that somewhere. Let's take it back up to John and JP. And he has a very clever nickname as well, JP. Yes, it's Kojak, and it's the way he does his hair, <laughs> or lack of it. I th he takes that hat off. Everyone knows who he is, and he's a great guy, and I don't say that about any official. Hey, you see Harold Jackson, number 33. We were talking about him in the open. Just a junior, big guy, goes uh, both ways. Um, fullback, uh, nose guard, even plays some linebacker. He has all the Division I scouts looking at him right now. Well, he's 220-some uh, pounds, and Harold's tough guy to break down. His real big thighs, and he runs hard, and, and he hits you, and he's a real active player. And uh, hey, he's recruited by a lot of people, only a junior. Talk about another big guy. There he is, Charlie Fick, the veteran head coach at GAR. Looking across those sidelines, his team has really turned it around as GAR gets set to receive the opening kickoff. Both these teams, four and three, in the Wyoming Valley Conference, Division Two. JR to go to the uh, Eastern Conference playoffs. Myers hoping to get into the District 2 tournament, as we alluded to in the open. Uh, Myers needs a victory here this afternoon. Some help from Dallas in their game this afternoon with Lake Lehman to get into that tournament. Yeah, wind will be a factor here this afternoon already. The ball coming off the tee. The wind is swirling in what is a uh, beautiful Wilkes-Barre Memorial Stadium. Uh, you see the new turf here, and uh, nothing but uh, good compliments on it thus far. Kids really like it, and the fans like it. You can see the numbers well, and uh, you'll see Carlo kicking off. He's a good one, only a sophomore. And our game of the week is underway. Sean Coleman at the four. Coleman heads to the outside at the 20, where he goes down. And GAR will go on the offense. Sarawine will be the tight end. Our tackles, Shatrowskis. And Hooper, Costello and Davies at the guards. Rosencrant is the center. Wick guys are the split end. In the backfield, Alex Janoski will run the offense. Big Harold Jackson at fullback. Manuel DeGraffenry, the tailback. Tony Falcone is the wing back. Alex Janoski, number four. He is a senior. Likes to run that football. Does a good job on the option. Delay, DeGraffenry to the 25, out to the 27-yard line. A pick up a seven on the play, second down. 
Taking a look at the Myers defensive line, Shudak and Mayers will be at the ends. Karens and Schlingman at the tackles. Linebackers, Verugio, Mashinsky, and Moore, and in the secondary, Schweibel, Jordan, Hilbert, and Garrett. Second down and three for JAR. They go with trips to the far side. Janoski down the line. Jackson with the first down. Big Harold out to the 35. Harold have himself a season. Well, Jackson gets the ball. He's a real hard guy to bring down. Myers has gone into a 4-4, which is different for them. As you'll see, Janoski going down the line. This is a veer option. Right now, Janoski is reading the defensive end, has a choice of giving the ball to Harold or keeping it himself with the third man, DeGraff Reed, on the pitch relationship. First down and 10. Jackson averaging 11 yards per carry out of the eye. Jackson, second carry. Hand off to Jackson. Stood up in the middle. Second down. Well, that's tough to run up that middle when you're running a 4-4 defense. You've got the uh, two guards in the center outnumbered, uh, four to three, and you have to break out a little outside of your offensive guard to run a play there. Pick up a two on that last play, second down and eight for GAR. Won five out of their last six ball games. Myers trying to snap a two-game losing streak. Sauerwine in motion from the eye. DeGraffin Reed off tackle, bounces to the outside. Is at the 40. Matt midfield. There's territory with the first down. With a healthy Manuel DeGraff Reed, this makes this triple threat option team really tough. In the beginning of the year, GR was a little down because Manny had a bad hamstring pull. He's coming down the line now. Hand the ball off, Harold kicks out the end. Manuel bounces it outside, way out here. You'll see a great block by Wickheiser, number 45, keeping Jordan out of the way. Pick up a 19 yards, first down, first and 10 from the Myers 45. Again, out of the eye, two tight ends, to grab the reach from the tail. Picks up about three on the play, second down. Manuel did not follow Harold Jackson through the middle of that. An isolation play up against the four four mills, real nice two guards block out on the tackles. An elite fullback goes against the linebacker, but Manny did not follow Big Harold that time. JR making their second appearance this season on the high school football game of the week. A thrilling opener with Dallas and JR. The Dallas uh, held down to win, I believe it was 23 20 earlier in the season. Get out of the eye. Second down. Janoski with the hole. Janoski's at the 30 25 20 yard line and a first down. Beautiful play. It was a belly option. Janoski's on the keeper. Well, you see his right guard, Davies, or left guard, Davies, come all the way around pool and block the defensive end, Mayers. And Janoski decides to keep instead of pitch the big gainer. Yusef Garrett had to come over, number 21, to make the tackle. First and 10, JR, 8.55 to go in this opening quarter. We are scoreless. To Graffenry at the 15. Impressive opening drive by G.A.R. Janoski making the right calls on that option. Janoski's running option. This time he's going to run a power play here. Harold Jackson will be kicking out the right end. Hands the ball and a cutback, which I talked about earlier in the G.A.R. Dallas game that Manuel de Graffi was not doing. That time he did it perfectly. Pick up a nine, second down and one. He'll stay in the eye. Janoski will keep it. He's at the 10, picks up a block of the five, goes down at the two. Ken Jordan, number four, came up from his cornerback position and got a hold of Alex's ankle and just held on for dear life. Well, Janoski's running the option as good as I've seen in a long time today. Coming down the line, fakes the Harold Jackson inside. Uh, Costello guard with a great kick out block. Makes Janoski, ooh, and uh, almost in. First and goal, G.A.R. knocking on the door at about the two and a half yard line. Power eye to Graffenry, stood up, line of scrimmage. Good surge by Myers. Yusef Garrett once again on the tackle. He's made a number on this opening drive. You see here they're gonna run a power eye offense now with three guys in the backfield. Harold going up inside back kicking out. Yusef Garrett is not blocked as the safety in that 62 defense. And he just makes a tackle. No one bothered him at all. Jordan with the initial hit. Second and goal. Janoski 
dropped at the five yard line. That time Myers shooting the gaps, coming with the blitz. Looked like Jason Schlingman, 52, breaking through there. Let's watch it again. Jason Schlingman's in that position because he's so quick. He's a real good wrestler. He's faking the Harold. This looks like uh, the old quarterback draw play where they fake the Harold one way and Janoska keeks it up the next hole. Just didn't work at all because of the penetration. Third and goal for GAR now. It's a timeout down on the field. Well, GAR definitely will go for both these third and fourth down. They don't really have a kicking game. Uh, they do have a, a Harold Jackson will kick in an emergency, but I don't think they're a field goal type team. There you see the senior quarterback, Alex Janoski. JAR is going to talk it over right now. We're going to take a break and be back right after this. Mark II Family Restaurant, a family restaurant? Let's find out. First of all, there's the soup and salad bar that comes free with lunch. The many daily specials offering free wings and shrimp. The huge breakfast buffet. How about their delicious baked ziti dinners? Or you can even try something from their char-broiled menu, or grilled rainbow trout, or full rack of barbecued spare ribs, or even pigs in a blanket. It's really quite simple, though. We love families, and families love the Mark II Family Restaurants, where there's truly something for every appetite. Welcome back, Wilkes-Barre Memorial Stadium, 6.38 to go, opening quarter, we are scoreless, J.R. knocking on the door, third and goal from the five-yard line, very, very impressive opening drive for the Grenadiers, out of the eye. Janowski, the keeper, to the goal line. They try to run a trap keeper that time, a fake uh, option. With Janoski keeping up inside and gets down about to the one yard line. They're pulling guards a lot today, JR. Here comes Stabies across. Doesn't really get to where he's supposed to go. Janoski's not a real big guy and has a tough time getting the more yards down when it gets tight. Tried to stretch the football over the goal line. Fourth and goal, JR. To Graf and Reed. Up the gun is in. Touchdown, JR. Fullback like Harold Jackson at 225. Why not send him right up the middle and have DeGraff and Reed follow him in? Well, the Myers line is slanting, so what he is block down with the tackle and a guard and send Harold up to find the linebacker that's free. And DeGraff and Reed has a lot of points for JR this year. They like to give him the ball down by the goal line. He likes to smell that end zone. Harold <laughs> got himself a pancake on that one. JR will go for two. They lead it 6 0. Falcone in motion. Janowski, rolling, looking, throwing, complete. Falcone in the end zone, they get the two. And G.A.R. looking good, opening quarter. They lead Myers, eight to nothing. Well, you know, when they take Janowski out to the corner on this two-point play, it's just, he's a threat, you know, to run either way, so that's why it was so wide open. Let's watch it once again. Falcone goes in motion, and Janowski rolls to that side. But first, the touchdown to Graf and Reed. Just a, a straight power. Harold right through on Todd Jones, a poor sophomore. Just trying to take Harold down a little too high. And he got pancake, and uh, DeGraff Reed follows Harold into the end zone. DeGraff and Reed, 58 points coming in. That'll make it 64 now that the leg is healed. He, he looks very impressive. Yes, he does. He's making the right cuts. He's following Harold through the way, and he's really doing a great job today. Two-point conversion play. As we mentioned, Falcone in motion. Janowski follows him. Now you don't know if this guy's going to run or pass. The guy, the linebackers don't know whether to come up or not, so they decide, they decide to come up. Falcone standing all alone, no one near him. Catches it in his hands, tucks it in. Two points. Big number 75, Eric Shudak was in pursuit, so Janowski at that point get rid of the football. There you see Emmanuel de Graffenried, first touchdown of this ball game. So let's see what Myers has as Garrett picks it up at the 25. Garrett to the 35, and he is just knocked backwards. And we're going to see Myers go on the offense right now. Harold Jackson on the tackle. Let's check uh, Myers' offensive lineup today. Moore and Karen's at the tackles. Mayers and Shudak at the guards. Lewis the center. Schweibel the split end. Todd Jones the tight end in the backfield. Brian Hilbert the quarterback at junior. Verugio the fullback. Mashinsky the tail. And Ken Jordan at flank. 
First and ten for Myers. They'll go from their own 36. First carry of the ball game. That's Mashinsky. Athea de Graffenried comes up to make the first hit. Second down. The GAR defense this afternoon. Sarawine and uh, Davies at the ends. Costello and Hines at the tackles. Linebackers are Jackson, de Graffenried, and Whitaker. Secondary, Janoski, Falcone, and Wickheiser. Short pickup on that last play. Second down and eight. Wing to the far side. They split the backs. This is Mashinsky. Follows the tackle. Has a good hole. Out to the 45-yard line. About a yard short of the first down. And that Mashinsky really carries the ball. He's a tough guy. 851 yards this year. Six yards to carry. Let's take a look at the numbers on that scoring drive by GAR. 12 plays, 79 yards, uh, time of possession, a little under six minutes. Manuel de Graffenried, the one-yard touchdown run and the two-point conversion by Falcone. 8-0, GAR leading it, 4.50 to go, opening quarter. Here you see Brian Hilbert, number 11, the junior quarterback, starting his second season. <laughs> Penalty flag on the play, delay a game, JP. No doubt about it, it was a left tackle, or left guard, Mayers jumped a little bit on the play. Legal and, uh, procedure. That hurts. I noticed in the lineup that Kenny Jordan's not starting at wingback. First start, one goal, repeat. There goes Kojak. <laughs> Let's check in with Andy Plumbo. Andy, John, first score of the game, and GAR goes for a two-point conversion. That is slightly unusual. I asked GAR head coach Charlie Fick about that. The reply, extremely simple. He said, we don't have a good kicker. That's why they went for the two, and back up to you. you got it. That's exactly right. Hilbert to the air, down the sidelines, and it's intercepted. They're saying he was out of bounds. Good coverage on the play. Wickheiser, 45, the corner. Good coverage as Hilbert tries to stretch it out a little bit. Yeah, that ball, is, uh, there's, there's no way that the, he has to really underthrow this ball if he wants to hit his receiver on this one. He just throws it up for grounds, expecting the receiver to get there. That was Weibel going up the sideline, and Wickheiser intercepts, but he stepped out of bounds. So Myers will have to punt it away. Let it go! It's a poor kick. And out of bounds at the 42-yard line. Usually Billy Hilbert kicks for him now. He wasn't kicking that time. The punt just 18 yards with no return. As we said before, Ken Jordan is not starting for Quentin Harrison. There. They have Ismail Garrett in there, who's only a freshman. Nice size freshman. And as the game winds down, JP and I will name our Cal Ideas advertising specialties players of the game. We'll be choosing one player from each team whose performance and sportsmanship at today's game proves to stand them out as leaders on their respective teams. That's the Cal Ideas players of the game. First and 10, GAR. Janoski on a roll. Janoski stopped at the 39 yard line. Good pursuit. Mashinsky was there. Damon Moore, big number 71 as well. Well, Damon Moore, a lot of people looking at him. He's only a junior because he's six foot four and he has such a big frame. His brother Rob was here and grew to about six five and was highly recruited also. Right here, right here, Janoski has got to get the ball and go north and south a little quicker. Too much east and west, made his cut a little too late. Mashinsky was blocked outside, but did make the tackle. Costello pulling on the play, should have stayed right behind him and yep. cut it up a little cut sooner, up a little like you quicker, said. Right. Second down at 12, out of the eye. Janoski to throw, complete first down, 47-yard line. Joe Janik, the tight end on the reception. Yeah, Joe Janik was not supposed to play at all today. He missed almost all the last four games. He has a real bad back, and uh, Joey just wanted to go in this one, a traditional game against Myers. This is a pop pass. Janik catches in his hands. Possession receiver keeps the ball. Another first down for GAR. Continue to move the football here in the opening quarter. Graff and Reed off tackle has running room at the 40. Goes down shy of first down, 38-yard line. The Pick GAR nine guards the are doing a great job today, John. Costello and Davies coming out, pulling and trapping on almost every one of these plays so far. That's their game plan to get the guards on the defensive ends of Myers who come up field a lot. Secondary guys making a, a number of tackles here in the first quarter, and that's not a good sign. That's not. On and off throughout the morning and the afternoons, we're seeing our first uh, snowflakes of the season. <laughs> That's scary. We have a lot of <laughs> games to do yet. We have a nice warm spot today. Second and one. Janoski will keep himself. Gets to the 35 and gets the first down. 
That's the quarterback draw, going to the middle, fake to Harold Jackson, and Janoski falls him right back up the middle. Janoski, 338 yards uh, rushing this season. Rather run it than throw it, and does a good job. Fakes everybody up inside, keeps the ball back in there, gets a couple needed yards. You know, this is the GAR team I think we're seeing here this afternoon that we've seen in the last three or four weeks that we expected to see back uh, the first week of September. Well, they weren't in shape, and they weren't very healthy in the beginning of the year, and now they're getting in gear. First and 10, 35-yard line of Myers. Sarawan goes in motion, backs are split. Harold off tackles at the 30, 25, 24-yard line, and another first down. It's pick up 11 on the play by Big Harold, which is his average. 11.4 per carry for Harold Jackson, which is phenomenal. Here we go, guard pulling again. Davies coming out, he's having a heck of a game. Good down block by Hooper. Davies kicks out. I tell you, Myers defensive ends got to start coming down the tubes or they're in big trouble. Yusef Garrett, number 21 on the tackle, asking his line and linebackers to give him a, give him a break. Coming with the blitz. Janoski pulls it out, heads for the corner. Alex at the 20, ridden out at the 17. They'll mark it at the 16. That was a freeze option, John. They, they faked the Harold Jackson up inside. The graph rate stays way back deep, doesn't even move, and then uh, Starjanski starts coming down the line. They both move together. And it freezes the linebackers in one position, and it was a good carry. Manuel de Graff and Reed here in the opening quarter. Seven carries, 48 yards, and a touchdown. Eight first downs for GAR in this opening quarter. We still have a minute 22 to go. Second down to Graff and Reed. Pops outside, then back inside. Looks like he has the first down. Harold Jackson coming out tough again. Knocked the defensive end. Mayers right on the ground. These speed burners just love to play on the turf. Okay, Harold Jackson coming out here to your right. Boo! Whoa, <laughs> he knocks my. down Mayers. Cut now, cut now. Not enough. If you're keeping count at home, that's two pancakes for Harold Jackson here in the opening quarter. First and 10, Myers showing blitz again. Here they come. DeGraff and Reed off tackle. Gets to about the 12. He's dancing a little bit in the holes. You got to get turn your shoulders and get up through those holes a little quicker, Manny. Janowski, real cool at quarterback. You see these linebackers uh, right up on the line of scrimmage. He has to make a quick decision. He reads those linebackers or reads the defensive end, depending on what the call is, and uh, it keeps it or pitches it. Just a pickup of a yard on that last play. Second down and nine. Need to get to the three-yard line for a first down. 20 seconds to go in this opening quarter. Work out of the eye. Janoski pulls it out. Janoski at the five. Janoski is in. Touchdown, G.A.R. The freeze option, and he kept it again. Well, I know a lot of the sports guys in the area were picking Myers to win this one by a, a good number of points, but you can't convince us of that. Now, GR's looking really good right there. Janoski makes another fine decision. Look at him stretch that ball. He wants that end zone. Second effort, and they'll go for two again. 14 seconds to go. Opening quarter, it's 14-0. JR looking for more. Falcon in motion. Janoski, plenty of time, throws, incomplete. Wickheiser, the intended receiver, good coverage. Throwback, he threw it in the crowd, and uh, just, they're all over him that time. G.A.R. has done it all here in the opening quarter, and they lead Myers, 14 to nothing. Let's look at that touchdown again. I've never seen freeze option run quite this well. Right there, linebackers are frozen on Harold Jackson. The pitch man was there, but Janoski didn't need a pitch, and he read the end going upfield, takes it himself in for the score. Good block by the tackle, Jim Costello. There you see Alex Janoski. He, along with DeGraff and Reed, have put points on the board. They've told me now, Charlie says that a lot of people are looking at Janoski as a deep back, but now a lot of clubs are coming back and saying his quarterback action, especially Wake Forest right now, is real hot and heavy for Janoski. He's 5'11", 185 pounds, a senior. And has wheels. Has a defensive back, a couple of interceptions. Number 19 is Bob Garrett. So let's see what Myers can do here. Uh, they haven't answered the bell for this first quarter. They also quickly bad find themselves down 14 and up. I'm sure that punt didn't help. No. Harold Jackson to kick it off. Gets the go ahead. 
And again, kicks it on the ground. This is more the tackle back of the 20. Let's see his moves. 25, 26, and he goes down. He used to wear number 17, but That's 71 right. returning a kick is a bit odd. Well, I'll tell you what, I have some interesting stats on Moore. Seventh grade, he was a quarterback. Eighth grade, a fullback. Ninth grade, a split in. Tenth grade, a flanker. Eleventh grade, a tight end, and a tackle. <laughs> <laughs> They're just looking for his right position. Plus, he keeps growing. You know, at 6'4", you could put another 30, oh, 40 pounds on that frame. Definitely. First quarter has drawn to a close, and it's been a good one for GAR. They lead Myers 14 to nothing.